Hey, what's up folks? Sometimes as shooters, uh, we get too wrapped around the how, okay? Like how do we do something versus the why are we doing something, okay? Um, kind of believe in being able to understand, you know, the way something works or what the, the end state is and then how it happens may vary a little bit. You know, techniques may vary a little bit, okay? So um, we're gonna talk about right now uh, what I believe are the base fundamentals of marksmanship and an easy way to train those and a philosophy that will carry over and train other things as well. So I believe that the base fundamentals of marksmanship are put the sights on the target, press the triggers without moving the sights. So we've got a really easy, uh, well not easy but yes easy, uh, exercise we're going to do um, to, to work on that. We're going to do it in dry fire and dry fire is a place where um, we can focus more on the why. You know the why is that we want to put our dot inside that half inch square on that blue piece of tape out there and press the trigger without moving the dot outside of that tape. How are we gonna do that? That may vary, okay? The way your hand lives on your gun may be a little bit different than my hand lives on my gun. Uh, the, where you place your finger may be a little bit different than where I place my finger. Uh, how much pressure or whatever, that may interpret a little bit differently from me to you. But the why, you know, putting the sight on the target, okay, in this case, we want to put the dot inside that black square, a half inch square, and we want to press the trigger without moving the dot outside of it. That's the why. Different hows to get there. I'd like you to explore coming up with your own hows, but really focus on the why, okay? Um, making sense? Okay, so don't sweat the how, don't, don't sweat how you're, how you're gonna grip the gun, how you're gonna press the trigger, whatever, why? Why are you doing this? You're doing this so you can put your dot in a place that you want it to be and press the trigger without side of moving it and either refining or establishing or confirming or training the base fundamentals of marksmanship. So there's some backstory, here it goes. I'm gonna use a dry fire mag. That lets me get some, um, or lets you as a shooter get some of the mechanical resistance, you know, out of the trigger, especially on a Glock, it's kind of helpful. Uh, the thing's gonna click twice, you know, once when I press the trigger, once when I release it, but just so you know. All right, um, number of reps, so that we can stay visually and mentally focused, and that'll vary, you know, shooter to shooter. I'm usually in the five to seven, eight reps, um, and then I need to kind of break off of it a little bit, and then go back and do some more. Few reps there. Let's do a little bit more. All right. Um, something I think you find with reps, or something I find with reps, maybe you will as well. Um, we need reps. Okay, that's that's how we learn. We get exposure to something, and we continue to get exposure to it. We figure it out. We adjust to it. Um, if we get too many reps, we can get complacent and not get good reps. You know, we can just like keep doing something and end up, you know, doing it, you know, less than optimal. And now you're kind of imprinting data onto the hard drive and it may not be the data you want. Okay, so do some reps, get some exposures. You should see some different things happen as you move along. I did, uh, I do every time. Every time I draw fire, every time I get reps, I see things and as I see things, you know, the way we work as humans, we're adaptive. We see things that didn't work as well as we wanted them to. We didn't get the, the why that we wanted to, didn't get the end state we wanted to, uh, or, or we maybe kind of stumbled onto another way to do it that might be a little bit easier and more efficient for us. Um, so we get those exposures and we kind of adjust to it, okay? So that's the benefit of beauty of, of getting reps. So be aware of when you're getting, when you're just doing something instead of getting valuable reps. For me, I find that somewhere in the, you know, five to sometimes 10 reps kind of range, uh, but usually not a lot more than that in shooting. But there are some thoughts. Y'all go out there, take a look at it. Like I say, not a bad exercise to do. Uh, a decent investment of five to 10 minutes of your day, every day as a shooter. Um, just a little bit of, you know, work, a little trigger work. You know, uh, focus on the things that you want to see, see what's happening, and then let your body make some adjustments. That's all I got for right now. We'll see you next time.